Welcome to The Quiet Room Brought to you by the creator of Truth Well Told, Tarot Your space for relaxing music, meditation and sleep enhancement Join me on my new channel I'll leave all the details below The Quiet Room Hello Virgo and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your May 2024 bonus reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Virgo, let's see what we have for you. An additional message for May 2024. So what do we have for Virgo? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Virgo. Message for Virgo. So we have the world to start your reading. It's a big card. And we have the Seven of Swords. Three of Wands. And we have the Ace of Cups. King of Swords, we've got the Tower in the immediate future, Nine of Wands, bottom two cards, and we have the Six of Wands. I'm going to pull you a spirit message. I'm just looking for the cards. What do we have for Virgo? Thank you, angel spirits. Guys, let's pull you a spirit message. Message for Virgo. Thank you. Memories. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world, for neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. With that, we've got receive. You are a kind, loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others, but now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. Just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. So it's your time to receive. So I'm going to pull you a couple of money cards. Could be a, an additional message to the reading. Let's see what we have for you, Virgo. In money, career, financial areas. What do we have for Virgo? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. First card, we've got Labourer. A new job of some kind is coming your way or going back to work. A career in construction, maintenance or any kind of labour work could be for you. Your dependable, loyal nature will be rewarded soon. Keep at it. So it's a card of hard work fundamentally here. We have a halt. Money has come to a complete halt or money is slow in coming in. Don't borrow more than you can repay. Let's see what we have for you as Romance Angel cards. What do we have for Virgo? Thank you. For the month of May. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. We have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And Virgo, I'm going to pull you a little oracle card as well. What do we have for Virgo? Thank you. We have declutter. 
Let go of old items creates a sacred space for yourself. All right, Virgo. I think that you are, this is either you, you're very astute. Uh, this is seeing, seeing, seeing things for what they are, not necessarily want, what you want to be, but you might be even seeing the truth here, seeing the reality of a situation. It could also be somebody might be advising you in some way. If I were you, Virgo, this is what I would do. I mean, this can be somebody who also advises us. Um, so king, king of Swords can be male or female. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini as uh, a card, but we can all manifest as court cards in general readings. I think that you're very clear about something here, Virgo. And I think that's kind of like setting you potentially on a new path. The Ace of Cups uh, can be a new beginning, self-love, new joy. If this is, again, in terms of money, career, finances, I see something coming to a halt because something else is opening up for you. And I think deep down you know that something is, I think that you're reading the signs. I think that you're very astute in this energy and this is in the immediate past. And certainly in the present, you're taking secret steps because I feel that you know that there is a, a major ending coming. I think, I mean, sometimes we see this kind of energy when you, you, you feel that there is change coming. Could be in a, a company, an organization, um, however that will be in terms of money, career, finances. Towers can be linked with endings, so can the world card. Uh, it can be linked with major completions. And I think this is about you know, you know that something is completing and you're taking secret steps. It feels like to open up a new path here. I think that there is that sense of, of new joy, but it's coming your way. Again, the Three of Wands is those ships are coming in. They're not in the harbour yet, but it feels like they're coming in. It feels like this whole um, process has been testing. Towers can be linked with change. Yes, it can be linked with... Uh, mergers, acquisitions, you know, restructuring, redundancies, uh, administration, you know, you know, new management, all of this kind of energy can be tower energies. Uh, certainly in terms of money, career, finances, towers can represent, and it can be in any life area, but towers represent significant change, even endings of some kind. It's almost kind of like you're, you're, you're clear and you're taking secret steps to kind of like safeguard safeguard yourself in some way and there is that feeling here of being optimistic about the things that you're there's something that you're taking steps towards here because you know change is coming I mean that's what I'm seeing here I think that there is an opportunity here to surrender the old and and move on uh, the nine of wands and the six of wands it just feels that sense of surrendering uh, a journey that has been testing um, and with the, the Six of Wands, uh, this is a card of significant achievement, victory, triumph, success, likely over something that has been testing for you, getting recognized and noticed, but certainly moving on. It can also be a very good promotion energy as well. So it could even work out better for you than you expected. I mean, sometimes we look back in towers, could be in days, weeks, months to come and realize why change needed to happen. Uh, but it might well be something comes in here, Virgo, that's even better than you had before. I think something is coming to a halt here, but it's because there's a new path. And that's, and I think that you're going in search of whatever that new path is. So, that, I mean, this is, this is, I mean, you're feeling really empowered. This is a really feel, feeling very positive, feeling empowered, moving on from the issue, uh, self-discovery along that journey as well you know discovering what you're made of um but i i see that that change is happening and i think that you've taken steps before that because you're very astute you know you know there's that there's there's a need to declutter and release the old in order to welcome the new in and that's the energy here now 
you could also look at this in terms of love romance relationships because uh, the king of swords uh, can be somebody who is uh, honorable uh, respectful uh, honest truthful fair has integrity and male or female this could be a person that you've connected to now the Ace of Cups can represent new love or the opportunity for new love or to move on a path that represents new joy. Also, Virgo, this could be the energy that you are adopting. You're making the right choice for you to move on a path where there's emotional renewal and self-love first and foremost. Now, the world is secretly planning to end something. Uh, that is the Seven of Swords in the World card because you're opening up to something else and it might well be that you're just waiting for things to fall into place here certainly in the present energy uh, but this is what I'm seeing for you here but in the immediate future this is where you're letting the old fall down why because you've been tested one too many times um, with the with the nine of wands again if it's if it's leaving somewhere or completing uh, you know it could be an, even an existing relationship to move either towards new joy, new happiness, whether that's with somebody else or whether that's you on your own. The energy is, I, I'm letting it go. I don't want to continue and I'm moving on. Um, but the Six of Wands, feeling very empowered and feeling uh, very uplifted that you finally faced something, dealt with it, and you're putting it behind you and feeling very comfortable. Even though it is big change, it is, it's... There is that kind of sense of, of feeling empowered. Yeah, finally, I'm, I'm pleased. I've dealt with that. I've faced it. I've overcome it. And I'm moving on from it. Something that might have been testing for you. Now, so for some of you, it could well be moving on from one relationship and there's the potential of new love. For others of you, it's about moving on from a relationship here and opening up to new joy, self-love. You just have to wait for a few things to fall into place. I mean, sometimes that could well be there are practical things. You know, I need to set, set myself up. You're doing things quietly, secretly, keeping your cards close to your chest because it serves you. I think that you have uh, already resided on the fact that there is a completion here and you're just slowly but surely taking secret steps to to get everything set up for you but it feels like in the immediate future you're ready it's out with the old and in with the new it is that sense of letting the old fall down in order to move on and be open I mean there's a strong sense here I'm ready I'm ready I've overcome that issue and challenge I'm putting it behind me and I'm ready for what comes next you know there is that kind of energy Let's see what we have for you as an angel message. Archangel Jophiel. Archangel Jophiel works on the golden ray, drawing wisdom from source. Ask him to illuminate you and help you connect with your own deep knowing. He will also help you to learn and absorb information. So if you are studying or involved in any form of education, divine assistance is available to you now. Call on Archangel Jophiel for direction and strength. He will keep you to rem he will help you remove negativity and become open-minded, clear and wise. The angels remind you it is time for you to wear the golden cloak of wisdom. So visualize yourself surrounded in gold light and be wise. Your affirmation for the month of May, I connect with my inner wisdom. I'm going to pull you one more card. Either way, I feel that you're you're moving on from something that has been testing, uh, exhausting, taxing. Uh, but it feels like you're feeling really, really positive that you've faced it, dealt with it, and overcome, and dealt with change, 
and I'm moving in a direction now where there is that sense of new joy, new happiness, emotional renewal. I mean, this is the energy here. Does it take effort with the labor energy? Yes. Is there decluttering involved in this? Yes. Is it your time to receive? Yes. Okay, we've got healing. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. Healing, recovery, getting back on track. Bottom of the deck, we have magical blessings. Whatever you're going through right now, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. Virgo, that's what I have for you for the month of May 2024. I hope you enjoyed your reading, maybe found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.